all these new canvas classrooms being built and you see these really nice banners at the top but you don't know how to make them. So I'm going to show you super quick, super easy how to do it. If you haven't done so yet, please go to Google and type in Canva for Education. Click down here where it says apply for it. Fill out the form and you'll be able to join. Usually it lets you do it in about 24 hours. It works if you, the key thing you need to have is you need to have some proof. So either your ID or your certificate of teaching, anything to prove that you have a teaching job. Okay, so once we have joined and we've logged into Canva, you come up with this page. Super easy, we're gonna come up here, say create a design and click custom dimensions. You're gonna change this over here to say inches and then in the width, you're gonna put 16.67 and for the other one, 4.17. I will link this in the description below. Click create and this gives you the automatic these are the dimensions at work. What's really nice, once you have Canva for education, you're going to be able to use any of their pre-made ones. I've used this one and edited it. I've used this one here. But maybe I want to try something different this time. So maybe hmm, scrolling through, maybe I want to keep it super simple. And I'm going to start here. Now. As a teacher, I don't teach about beach furniture, but I can come in here and I can say maybe math class or maybe eighth grade math. You can change all of your dimensions. You can move things around. I want to zoom in. So eighth grade math and maybe I'm making this for my friend Miss. She's married, <laughs> Ms. Hall. Okay, so that's just a starting point. What's really nice, even if you don't have the education account right away, you are still able to use some of the features. But I come in here and maybe I want to look up math. I look through the pictures, not loving any of the pictures, so maybe I say calculator instead. And it comes up with all these. And maybe I want to go with that picture there. Okay, so now I want to real quick change the background color. If you just click on the background, you can come in here. What's really nice when you set up an education account, you can set the colors you want, and I can show you that in another video. Or if you want to just change up the colors all the time, you come through here. Let's see, to go with yellow. Maybe a yeah, nice blue. Okay, so we've got Miss Hall's math class. Come up here if I want to change the font size. Mm, let's see if I can make it a little bigger. Eighth grade math. And I can even get rid of her name completely if I want. If you want to change fonts, it's really easy. If you notice these little plus signs, when you are education, you get access to a whole lot more. Um, but if you're just using the regular free account, you still have a lot of fonts to choose from. So maybe, maybe I want to go, no, say, hey, gotcha is my go-to font right now. But let's see. Okay, let's say I want to go with this. What's really nice in Canva, you also you come up here and you click on uh, the spacing button you can space your letters out more or less you can change the spacing between your lines so it looks like that maybe I want to make it even bigger still if you just click on something like this it will stretch and the font will increase if you want to change the font size yourself you can come up here and change it there as well so maybe I just want to bring it over slightly. Eighth grade math. And if I want to make sure it's centered, I come up here to position. And I want this to be in the middle. There we go. Okay, once you have a design you're happy with, once again, you can always go back and change it. You're going to come up here and click download. 
I don't change any of the default settings. I do use PNG, which is what they suggest. And you just click download. Once it downloads, what's really nice, you can come back and edit. I do like to come up here and I do like to make sure the file name is something. So eighth grade math is what it says because that's what I use, but maybe I say banner or Canva banner and I there. So for all our Mac users, we are super lucky that when we download something, it stays right there. We're going to take advantage of that by jumping into our Canvas account. So to create a new page, you're going to click on whatever course you're working in. Um, that's my current home page, but I'm still working on it. For your banner, you're going to go into Pages. And we're going to go to View All Pages if you already have one set. You're just going to start a new page. Maybe I want to call this my home page, front screen, opening screen. But once we're in here, sometimes I like to stretch this so I can see more. We're going to come up here and click Images. We're going to upload an image. Click on that lovely little spaceship. Really nice. You've got in your downloads, it's right there. And we can hit Submit. Other option. If you still have this download right here, you can drag it and it comes right there as well. Click Submit and it pops right into your account. A few things I do additionally to make it look really nice when you click on the image, say Image Options, you make sure that the alt text matches what you want it to say. What's really nice about alt text is for your students who need accessibility or they need it to be read to them it will read whatever you put in the alt text. So don't just skip. You can also say this is a decorative image because it doesn't click anywhere. And then you say done. Last little thing I like to do, I come up here and I like to say center. This way, no matter what your kid's page is, it's going to, if they're looking on a phone or a computer, it's going to be centered, whatever their dimensions are. So we hit save. And so far, you've got a banner. I'm going to go back in in a, another video and show you how to add some buttons and some extra designs, but that is how you make a banner for Canvas.